Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie. I have a message for someone today for my Lord. Now, <laughs> it's a bit different. The Lord calls me Sia. It's not something I started calling myself because I heard other people talking about it. He called me Sia. I had to look it up to find out what it meant. So he can open my eyes to the realm around me, what's happening, what his holy angels are doing. Um, he gives me dreams, visions, impressions of my spirit. It's all normal living for me. <laughs> but he has started doing something new recently. I'll sit outside of the Lord every morning and I wait upon him. I sit with him, hear what he's got to say, listen to his heart. I love it every morning I do that. I sit outside, have my cup of coffee with him. But he has started doing a new thing where I'll fall asleep. And whilst falling in the, in the sleep, he'll give me a dream and then a message. Today, he let me know beforehand that he was going to do that. I just quickly got an impression in my spirit. Oh, you're going to do that today, Lord. Okay. <laughs> So I wasn't taken by surprise when I sat down with my coffee and probably fell asleep <laughs> outside. Okay, I was given three dreams. But before I, I share them, Holy Spirit, I ask please that you just touch the hearts of all those who are watching this video whom you led here to watch. Um in particular the person whom this message is for, that they'll receive it from you, Holy Spirit, not me, but from you, please. Let them have a, let them have a witness in their spirit. You're speaking to them. Let it resonate with their spirit. You're speaking to them right now personally. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bless you. Have your way with every person who's watching right now. Have your way in their lives and through their lives for the glory of the Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. The first dream, I could see me and I was speaking to people and showing them how to walk in authority and faith and the power of God was being released. I, I heard myself saying, power of God I woke up I thought okay it's not unusual I have dreams like that all right and promptly went back to sleep <laughs> had the same dream power of God woke up again all right promptly went back to sleep <laughs> but the third dream I saw a man now, do you remember being a child and having a three-legged race? They, in, in my day, <laughs> they used a, a sackcloth, a bag. And um, each person had to put one leg in the bag and run in union together. And those who ran the fastest won the race. And it was so much fun, wasn't it, watching people fall over? <laughs> I was one of those people that fell over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you had to run together. Your legs had to be in union with each other and you'd run the race. I saw a man and he had a sackcloth on his left leg and he was looking down at his leg and he was trying to walk but wasn't sure how to. And he kept looking down at the, at the sack and it was like the sack was baggy and... It was cumbersome to him. It was in the way and he was unsure. So he was just standing there unsure. This is a word for somebody. Now in Zechariah 4, 6, and the prophet Zechariah said to Zerubbabel, not by might, not by um, power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Now all those who believe have the Spirit of God. He is the power to what us who believes. 
He is Holy Spirit. He's the third person of the Godhead. He is a person. You might not see him in physical form, but his spirit is with us. He's the spirit of Yeshua, of Yahweh, of our Lord. He is the spirit of the Lord. He is the spirit of God. He's with every believer. Someone is trying to do something on their own in your strap and you're not sure about it. you're not walking as you ought to walk you're not walking in the power of God you're not walking in the power of his might you're looking down at your own strap you're looking down at this bag and it's like you're looking for something you're unsure and nothing's happening <laughs> because you're looking to self you need to look to Holy Spirit who's with you. He'll give you the unction and you walk in the power of God. You look, don't look down at yourself. What's happening down there? You look up. You speak in authority that has been given to you by our Lord Jesus, Luke 10, 19. I have given you the authority, the trample and snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. We speak by faith, we do not live by, we live, we walk by faith, not by sight. We live by faith in the one that is faithful. We look to our Lord Jesus. Our faith comes from what he has done, is doing and will do. Not what we can do, what he has done, will do and will do. Has done, is doing and will do. <laughs> who was and is to come our faith is in the one who is faithful what he can do and people have asked me why my faith is so strong well to me that's obvious i'm looking at jesus my lord can do all things therefore my faith is great because i'm looking at him not myself i'm not looking down at myself what can i do I need to work up a faith. I need to do something. No. I look to him and step forward in faith, trusting him, looking at him, what he can do. And I know his spirit is in me. That's Holy Spirit. We do life together with Holy Spirit in union with him. We don't do it without him. We don't try to use him, use the gifts, the spiritual gifts he gave to us. He moves us in those gifts. He moves us by his unction. If we're looking down at ourselves, we're looking at our own strength, aren't we? And I've said this in a few movies. We're looking at self, we're doing it in our strength. God is speaking to somebody. He wouldn't give me these free dreams for no reason power of God he wants you to walk in the power of God the power of God is with you it's Holy Spirit but he needs you to walk alongside with him to have a relationship with him fellowship with him commune with him walk by faith speak in authority and the power of God will be released I assure you we see it happening in every home and part church. We see it happening in our own lives. Amazing things happen. Because we're not living in our strength. We're not looking to self. We're not trying to work up a faith. Thinking, oh, I've got to have the faith to do that. Jesus said, according to your faith, let it be so. The faith you have in him. Not in yourself. In him. When you walk in faith and what Jesus has done, is doing, will do, the work of the cross. You walk in that faith, you speak in the authority he's given you, mountains will be removed. Power God's released. But you need to walk with Holy Spirit. He's with you. You need a fellowship with him. Learn how he speaks to you personally. He speaks to us all differently. 
knowing how each one will receive from him. Greet him each morning. Good morning, Holy Spirit. I yield to you my thoughts, my emotions, my heart, the words I will speak, my behavior. I yield my family, finances, health, what I would eat, drink, times I should sleep, what I look at with my eyes, hear with my ears. I yield my life to you, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Speak to me, Holy Spirit. Give me ears to hear you to receive from you and a heart that's willing and obedient and then you eat the good of the land it's a communion and fellowship with holy spirit he is the power of god toward us we believe and you and you walk with him his leg's gonna be in that sack that i saw in the dream down there his leg will be in that sack you will run the race with him you will walk in the power of god you'll finish that race strong in the power of his mind it's time for god's children to stop looking to self or someone else it's he will bring people in our lives to lead and guide us spiritual fathers spiritual fa uh, mothers pastors leaders prophets evangelists he'll bring them into our life it's they're meant to be there to edify encourage and build up the church and they will speak to us by unction of the Spirit. And this is good and right. Impart gifts. But we need to be walking with Holy Spirit ourselves. It's not solely depend on the person and what he's going to speak that day. You need to be here in Holy Spirit yourself. And then when you go to church, the pastor will confirm what you've already heard during the week. Holy Spirit confirms. He might confirm to you something he's spoken to you through a video you watch, something that someone says, something that you read. You'll just cause, you just know, you'll, you'll just know in your spirit, ha, ah, that's confirmation, Holy Spirit, I heard you. And he's a person, he loves you so much. And I've said this before, he's one of the most ignored people on earth. Don't ignore him. He wants to run that race with you and win in Christ. We're winners. Do you know that? Ever look into him? We will always get the victory and the triumph over the enemy, the circumstance, that sickness, whatever's coming against our lives, our loved ones. No matter what's happening, we'll always, always hear me get the victory in our Lord Jesus. You need to know how big he is. All authority has been given to him in heaven and earth and beneath earth. And he has given us this authority to walk in. Not for our personal gain. No. Been led by his spirit to take authority over the realms of darkness that will try to come against us or our loved ones. To be about the father's business. His purposes, his will been done here on earth and god cares for us he'll look out for us he'll protect us he wants us to have peace and joy and life and love in our own lives he wants it's his good pleasure to bless his children he wants you to run that race in the power of his might and be about the good works he prepared beforehand for you to do ephesians 2 10 Every one of us has got a purpose and a meaning in him. I know I've said this in other videos, but we have. Someone's watching right now. And Father wants you to walk in the power of his might. In the power of God. You speak in authority. You walk by faith, looking at our Lord Jesus. You will run that race with Holy Spirit. And win. And win. God didn't make losers. The only loser is Satan and his realms of darkness. We're winners in Christ. We always will be if we're looking to him. No matter what's happening, you turn to Jesus. You turn to him. You lay everything at his feet. Burdens. Lay it already at his feet. We become burdened when we're looking to self and walking in our strength. 
We turn to Jesus, he'll give us his peace, his rest. There's rest when we trust in God. There's rest when we believe in him and we just believe. There's rest. We enter his rest, cease from our works and be led by his spirit. It's a beautiful life. It's communion and fellowship with the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. I got woken up from the third dream, <clears throat> hearing someone speak loudly, the three-legged men. And I woke up, the three-legged men. Our two legs, and what's the third? Who's the third leg? Holy Spirit. Without him, we're walking in our own strength, aren't we? Every believer has Holy Spirit with them. Again, I encourage you, greet him in the morning. Say hello to him. You know he loves when we chat with him. And do you know he's always talking to you? Ask him to be sensitive. Actually, I'm going to pray for you. Holy Spirit, for every person who's watching, please. Just touch the hearts to greet you in the morning. To acknowledge you throughout the day. They'll have sweet fellowship with you, Holy Spirit. Commune with you, Holy Spirit. Have a relationship with you, Holy Spirit. That they'll run the race together with you. Together. Together with you, Holy Spirit. Not by themselves. Not in their strength. But in the power of God. In the power of God. They'll know <clears throat> when you're speaking to them. They'll know it. Please give them a confirmation when you are speaking to them, Holy Spirit. Thank you. And they walk by faith, not by sight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. Oh. Bless you, Holy Spirit, have your way. He's moving for all those who are watching right now who want to hear his voice. You'll be sensitive to his voice. He's leading his guidance. He'll give confirmation. You'll know it's him. You'll walk in the power of his might. You will walk in the power of God. You will walk in the authority that Lord Jesus has given you. You will walk in faith and not by sight. You will not with your eyes look and tremble and be fearful. You will walk in faith. In Jesus' name, I proclaim this and declare it right now for you. I prophesy that over you. In Jesus' name, you will walk by faith. In the power of his might and the power of God. For God's purpose is his will to be done here on earth. His kingdom come. Hallelujah. He's got work for you to do. He wants to bless you in your own life. But he wants work in your life and through your life to bless others okay thank you holy spirit Woo! thank you but they i ask that they be blind and deaf to what the enemy will have them see or hear but their eyes and ears spiritual eyes and ears and senses be open to you only holy spirit close to the enemy but open to you, Holy Spirit, that they'll know your voice, your unction, your leading, your guidance. They'll walk together with you as one, as one, in union with you, Holy Spirit, as one. Today's a new day. Today's a new day for you. In the morning, good morning, Holy Spirit. Acknowledge him throughout the day. I used to set my alarm on my on my sports watch um, for every hour to stop what I was doing and greet him. I learnt to set my mind to things of God. I learnt to acknowledge him. And I learnt to ask him every morning, lead and guide me, Holy Spirit. I yield myself to you. Have your way in my life, through my life. And he does. Every believer 
can walk as one with Holy Spirit to hear his voice, sensitive to his voice. He is leading his guidance for your own personal life and for God's purposes to be done in and through you for his kingdom. You run that race with Holy Spirit and the power of God. Hallelujah. Audacity, faith. Audacity, faith. Knowing who is with you and for you. If God is for you, who can be against you? If his spirit is with you and for you, who can be against you? Greater is he. 1 John 4, 4. You are children of God. You are overcomers. Because greater is he who is with you than the enemy in the realms of darkness that's in this world. When you turn to our Lord, his spirit will empower you, strengthen you, and enable you to overcome whatever can come in your life. You will get the victory. But you need to trust him, you need to persevere, endure. Keep your faith on our Lord Jesus. Keep your eyes on him. You will walk on water. Keep your eyes on him and not the circumstances. Keep your eyes on him. Your mind stayed on him, trusting him, faith in him. He is our Lord Jesus. He has overcome and seated at the right hand side of the Father. We too, when we look to Jesus, were overcome. And Holy Spirit, I ask you, ignite a fire in them. Ignite a fire that won't go out. Thank you. On fire. On fire for the things of God. For his purposes, his will to be done here on earth. His kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ooh, I see fire. I'm getting shown a vision of fire in front of me. Ooh, Holy Spirit, I ask for baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire for all those who want it right now. All those who hearts whom you've prepared for this moment right now. Baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire. Tongues of fire. That's you, Holy Spirit, to come upon them right now. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some may have evidence of speaking in tongues. That's not necessarily you have to have that to know that you receive the baptism of Holy Spirit and fire. Some can feel their bodies get suddenly hot. But that's what I saw in front of me now. Tongues of flames of, of fire. That's baptism of fire. It's also refinement. It'll burn away the things not of God. The dross may come up, laid at his feet, laid at the feet of Jesus. I don't want it, Lord Jesus. And he'll remove it from your life. He'll refine you for God's will to be done. The good works God prepared beforehand for you to do. So you'll walk in the power of God. You'll walk in the power of God, endured from and empowered from above. Hallelujah, clothed from on high. Hallelujah. To his glory, not yours. Not for man. Look what I'm doing, look what I'm doing. I get the prestige, I get I do all no. Ah from my humble heart. From the secret place. Always to God's glory. Always. Hallelujah. So I thank you, Holy Spirit, for baptism. Holy Spirit, baptism and fire. Woo! <laughs> if you want that, just say, I receive it from you, Holy Spirit. I receive it from you, Holy Spirit. And start greeting him in the morning. Walk in the power of God. In fellowship, in union, as one with Holy Spirit. You'll win that race. Strong. And the power of his might, not yours. Don't look at yourself. Look to him. Eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, God bless you all.
You're so precious, so important. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.